In this video I'll show how to remove or replace an object from a scene in Final Cut Pro. There are plugins that do this but doing it manually frame by frame often gives you more control and a better end result. I'm using Final Cut Pro 10.4 but the steps are the same regardless of which version you have. Before beginning make all speed adjustments to the area where you want to modify. So what I'm going to do is remove the marker from the side of the trail. First determine the start and end points of the clip where you want the item removed with the razor blade tool. So hold B and left click. Make a copy of the clip and place it in the timeline above the original clip. Disable the original clip. Set the playhead to the first frame of the clip. Find the draw mask effect in the installed effects. Drag the masking tool onto the top clip. Because the marker is so small here, I'll zoom in so I can accurately place the mask. Draw a mask around the item. For this I'll use just a simple rectangle. Close the mask by clicking on the first point. Click the Invert Mask checkbox. And with the mask inverted you can think of it as a hole cut in the mask and you're seeing what's underneath. Go to the inspector and set keyframes for position, rotation, scale, and control points. You might not use all of these, but it's best to set them all so that in case you need them later they'll be already set. For simple shapes like this you can usually get by with just position and scale. Advance to the next frame and adjust the position and size of the mask. Repeat the procedure adjusting position, size, shape and rotation as necessary for all remaining frames of the clip, one frame at a time. Before getting too far along, step back one frame at a time and make sure the mask tracks the object properly. At this point the lower part of the marker is becoming more visible so I'll stretch the mask down so it covers the bottom part of the marker also. Now the mask has been adjusted on all the frames, so take a minute to go back and check to be sure it's okay. Move the playhead to a point in the clip where the object to be removed is relatively large. Click on the bottom clip and enable it. The object you want to remove should now show through the hole in the mask. In the inspector, click Transform and slide the bottom clip so that a matching texture or section of scenery shines through the hole in the mask instead of the problem object. Now check the other frames in the clip to see whether this setting will work for all frames. If not, try a different setting. I've illustrated this concept with the scene printed on sheets of paper. This sheet of paper represents the bottom clip, which was not altered. The top sheet represents the copy placed above the timeline with the inverted mask applied. In repositioning the bottom clip using Transform, you're simply sliding it to one side a bit so that something other than the marker shows through. To soften the edges of your mask and make it look smoother, go to the inspector and adjust feather and fall off. 